Hey everyone, it's Rue. We are, uh, we're doing part, uh, six. Yes, it's six. Well, what I'm doing just laying here. What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, recovering my health. Okay. That's what I was doing. So this place is a bit of a slog climb too, honestly. But I remembered to put my solid eye on. Because it's full of these little fucking traps. I can't decide if what I'm trying to do here, like I kind of laid out on my side right now and that's doing well because I'm right by the mic and everything but I don't know this is uh yeah crawl on them um those are sleeping gas mines they do some damage but they mostly just make you fall asleep when they hit you so don't be just running all over the place. They they actually fortified themselves well. See there. They fortified themselves well in here. See, it's like these hallways and stuff. I don't have good memory of like places like this. So it's very easy to get lost for me in these urban setups. I don't know why. There's a trap. I mean, I, I, I get I get it's to funnel you. Funnel you up in one direction, right? So. I don't know. I'm going to lay here and recover some more health, I guess. Goodness, I can't seem to get comfortable. I'm, I've am i just got to sit right at the mic like this. It's the only way to do it. Consistently. Uh, excuse me again. I'm sorry. I didn't finish my thought from the last part, but I, I've been doing the calorie counting stuff, but uh, one thing that's surprising, I mean, it's not low-low, but it's a surprisingly filling meal that doesn't have a ton of calories with it or grilled cheese sandwiches because I use a vegetable spread too uh, instead of butter I mean butter is already something I'm not a fan of but with sugar and everything I don't want that either um, but yeah two pieces of whole grain bread with pieces of cheese the vegetable spread it's not I can't believe it's not butter it's like Nutra or something it's it's even better it's a little more expensive though of course holy fuck I feel like I'm actually making decent forward progress this time in this temple it is a temple pretty sure uh, of course, as soon as I said that, I walked back the same hallway twice, so... I'm just gonna shut the fuck up about it. Yeah, recording five is gonna be fun. Uh, I might just do that off the PlayStation itself. There's this knockout gas. why they have to rig this why does it have to be this complicated but yeah we have a longer part like I started with this time so it's gonna be fun though we're gonna meet meet up with some people so there's that as soon as I get the fuck upstairs 
really so unnecessary to have all this these contraptions okay I guess it was on that floor that way already went that way come on turn around unfortunately like I don't really feel like these are games that I can just cut what I'm doing like if I'm backtracking or something that's one thing but like I'm actually getting going there initially this isn't a situation like that or like a Final Fantasy or something where you can you can cut it you know this is just all what's going on is this the way no that's the same blocked off staircase See, this is what I mean. All these hallways look the fucking same to me. And I know you can say, like, oh, we'll just keep track of where you turned and stuff. It's like, okay, well, yeah, I could. But I didn't. <laughs> I mean, I don't have a really good excuse for, you know, why it's so complicated for me. But it just, I don't know, it just is. Everyone has things they're good at, you know. I'm great at, game, at management when it comes to games and stuff. Planning and strategy. Like RPGs and stuff especially. There, I think that's just, this is the way to do it. Yeah, finding another thing. This is a good sign. Yeah, that's not a criticism of the game, honestly. This is just struggle. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck that buffering was for, but okay. Hey, here we are. It's a cutscene. I'm going to close this. That's still recording successfully. That's good. Where did we see this scene before? What did what did Stake say? Right. Like the joke character is actually a main character now. This is Johnny Sasaki. You know, the he farted and shitted and camed his way into the main cast. Love that so much. Press the L1. You see, he called him a rookie even, too. Press X. I guess we're not getting the flashbacks. Again, this is very... Possibly a situation where, like, Oh, I know this long-ass cutscene's playing. Let me go take a bathroom break. Tension rising. Lower your weapon. Snake's prepared to kill this kid. Slowly now. I wouldn't try anything funny if I were you. Box. I love that Meryl's in this game. I missed her so much after one. Meryl. Is that you? 
This is one of those character continuities that we really needed. What happened to your face? I don't know if I appreciate the ending they gave her, really. Where, like, all that she said about, like, wanting to be a soldier since she was a kid is apparently not the truth. Like, she wanted a wedding and everything. Like, what was cool was because she was such a, I wouldn't say a juxtaposition to the normal girl dreaming of things, but she was very much into the soldier soldiering lifestyle, uh, which was interesting to see of a female character in the late 90s, of course. And it was done well. See, it spells Patriot. Bodies investigating PMC activity. Maybe that should be the picture. No rats. The rat patrol group photo. But at least we have an interesting cutscene coming here. Or continuing, I should say. It's just one long, never-ending poop joke. Well, I want a good version of it. Four days since Liquid arrived in the area. But since then, this woman's been with him. Oh well, let's see. She doesn't look like a combatant. Probably some kind of advisor. Maybe a scientist. Guess who that is? I told you, everyone's making a return in this game. So, you're the commander of this old one unit. Why? Something wrong with that? I don't want... Here, I'll introduce you to the team. That's Ed, our radio man and sniper. Any of this... Oh, look. More continuous notifications on my phone. Hey, Sixers came back to beat the Hornets. I think they're still undefeated in uh, preseason basketball. It's nice. I'll look for it after. Oh. Maybe it's because someone taught me well. A certain legendary hero who suddenly disappeared. You quit the unit. Me? I never gave up on you. Or on Fox Hill. Back then, I just wanted you to accept me. I wanted you to turn around and see who I was. But I put the past behind. I'm done playing little love games. This is actually a very um, interesting way to tackle this. Because, uh, yeah, Meryl's pretty in love with Snake and the first game, you know, so there has to be a moment of like, all right, well, that didn't quite work out. <laughs> so. I know he's plotting an insurrection, but as long as AT security system is in place, I'll do it after, yeah. 
This is an interesting concept too, the uh, monitoring every soldier like through digital means with these nano machines. Like that's that's not gonna go wrong at all that everyone can be controlled digitally by something. It goes wrong later in the game. It kind of continues off the lessons that were talked about a little bit about in 2, though, doesn't it? Um, war is a video game. That that message is especially hammered <laughs> home later in another chapter. It's just very heavy-handed lessons, you know. Like, I get it, and I agree that, like, the thing we don't want to do is to make these young, impressionable teenagers, especially, think that war is super cool and uh, all that. That's always been going on, though. I mean, before video games, even. It was like, you got little sociopaths that sign up and just want to kill people in active duty, and they get that, they get to do that. Uh, I mean, that's probably the safest place to have those kind of people that just want to cause that kind of havoc or take those lives. I'm not saying every soldier is this, by the way. I mean, I have tons of military in my family. And I've seen what bad experiences can do. Especially my uncle who was in Vietnam. Uh, some of the stuff he talked about was crazy. But this presenting war as a video game and war is like I'm pretty sure it was the army that made an FPS shooter like this that was real life I forget when it came out it, I think it was early 2000s though but it was like are you fucking serious <laughs> like that's one of my favorite that's why I love the Gundam series so much one of my favorite things is like the whole thing is war is not cool like, the whole message is anti-war. Like, especially the Tamino-led series. But everyone's like, ha <laughs> cool robots. Like, War in the Pocket, they even make fun of that. Like, that's always been... It's a short little six-part six OVA, original video animation for those who aren't anime nerds. Uh, like me. The little home release series that's great. About a little kid that befriends a soldier that's technically on the bad guys team but doesn't care because he thinks it's cool and uh, this guy ends up dying and his friend ends up being the one who did it that this his neighbor this girl named Chris and uh, he starts crying about it at the end of the last episode when like they're like hey the one year war is over um, and he's crying because he knows his friend died and his other friends hurt and the other little kid in the school is like, don't worry, Al, there'll be another war soon. And it's like, I like to think that that message is a direct fuck you to everyone who doesn't get the point from Tamino. It's like, we're, you're, you're the dumbass kid that thinks he's crying because war's done and he's not going to see any more cool battles. Like, he's dying because people are fucking dead. <laughs> he's crying because people are fucking dead. So sorry, I've been talking over all this, but... Liquids, yeah, Liquid has hired private soldiers that are under electronic command. Um, and all the soldiers against them are under that too, because way back in uh, episode two when we saw the commercial for the PMC, it's like that's what the military is now, and they're talking about that uh, here a little bit, but it's just like, okay, privatized armies, that's great. That's not going to go wrong at all. I can't think of any time when one person who could privately control the law enforcing body of a country went out of hand with it. I can't think of that at all. There were never people that were sent off in fucking trains to go to internment camps because someone took military control and was able to weed out the people that they called undesirables. That never happened. Especially not in, especially not in Germany in the 1940s. happens every fucking time it never works totalitarian 
rule of militaries never work out because people are flawed and they need checks and balances. Oh, goodness. Our superiors ordered us to provide the UN investigators with intel. <laughs> but I didn't know it'd be you. Didn't the sound like a real idiot if it wasn't in the 40s. <laughs> I can't keep quit burping. This is ridiculous. Chill down, Meryl. Yeah, you gotta work with your uncle. I know you hate him. Mm, she's mad. Meryl's great, though. Such a cool character. This is bullshit. He's not my father. Love like the two guys who are just cleaning their guns in the corner. Like, wait, what's going on? And don't beat up the chair. That's the nicest chair this fucking bombed out area has. Why are you still calling him uncle? He's your daddy. Womanizing piece of shit. Snake doesn't even know. He doesn't know anything about his friends. And he did call him a friend. Uh, wasn't that in Metal Gear 1? Naomi's like, do you even have any friends? Oh, yeah. All men. Selfish, egotistical pigs. We all want to fuck young women. I don't. Let me tell you something. Other guys that at least are interested in ladies, too. Um, we've been going about this all wrong, unless you know, uh, the true dream, don't be chasing these, and, and I, I never got the appeal of this, and never, I mean, when I was that age, yeah, but, like, these young girls, barely legal teens, like, that's fucking gross, here's the truth, though. It's a little secret. But what you want to do is want to be into the single moms. Uh, you guys think it was my fault? I, I wouldn't necessarily use the word MILF because that can mean different things to different people. We all have what we're attracted to. You know? Uh, physically. But I'm saying, go for that. Get up in the morning and get like a lunchable and a juice box <laughs> out of the fucking fridge. Be on your merry fucking way. I'm telling you how it is. Also, I mean, physically. The, what what are usually called the BBW. That's the way to go. I mean, you can try to date your supermodels if you want. I, I have I have never really been interested in that body type. So have at have at you. Anyway, back to the game. Instead of talking about sex tips from Rolls After Dark. Uh. This is uh, the Frog Patrol. <laughs> They're literally called the Frog Patrol. But um, before, as you can see, that that icon's been flashing off and on like a fucking check engine light. Uh, this is where the original recording got jumpy. But I was able to... Uh, pretty much afterwards, I think it's a lot smoother sailing, so... I'm not sure what changed or if it was just how I was recording and like having everything else turned off, but 
you know, computers are fickle things. 